I was really proud of our team's effort to start the game. And so that's something we talk about all the time is we talk about go get the lead. And our guys did a terrific job. The first five we put on the floor went and snatched the lead. They were very aggressive and their effort to start was really, really good. Uh, we will improve as far as 40 minutes of effort, but really proud with how we jumped on them and got the lead. Also, some of our rebounders did well. Ryan Rooms was very active around the rim. And I was really pleased with Jesse Bunting, um, you know, as a freshman, for him to play so well. I don't even know if he scored. I don't care, but he was really solid. 17-8 and eight for Chris. Picked up the first five points early on. How important was that, Jeff, setting the tone against a team where he was able to exploit them with his size advantage? Well, I can't tell you how important it is just to play with the lead. And so Chris has been a guy that's got the guts to go make a shot early. He's done it in some of our scrimmages, and he did it again today. Uh, he's obviously a very important piece to our team just because he's an experienced player, and uh, I'm really happy he's part of our, our squad. You, you mentioned value for the basketball efficiency from the press conference through practice, 55% from the field, 21 points off of 23 turnovers forced as well. Overall, where would you grade this effort early in the year? Well, it's all about effort is what it's about the defensive end. And our effort at certain parts of the game was terrific. Um, I really didn't feel that we played very hard to finish the first half. That was very surprising to me that we, did, we had guys out there who weren't playing as hard as they've ever played. And so it's early in the season, and we've got to do a better job as coaches getting our message across. Value-wise, for us to turn it over 15 times, we're going to do much better than that. So 15 turnovers is way too many for our team, um, and we're going to learn from this experience. That's what these games are about here in November, learning and improving. You follow that up. You mentioned John being more aggressive defensively. Four assists, three steals as well. Seems like he's improved night and day. Night and day compared to last year. Yeah, I think John's efforts in both of our first two games has been really good. Meaning, um, I mean, he's just played good basketball. He's played unselfishly. He's made a difference at both ends of the court, especially defensively. So, um, really pleased with the minutes that John gave us. Uh, any update on, on Ryan Canty? Is is he healthy? Yeah, Ryan. Ryan's fine. Mandel, you had four guys tonight with double figures. What has you know sharing the ball is the philosophy of, of Coach Newbauer this year. How is that transition? It seems like when you have that many guys in double figures. Uh, it's an easy transition, though. Know, coach um, emphasizes sharing the ball and defense, but for me, that comes natural. I always like to share the ball. I don't like to just go out there and try to get myself. We go, I got great scores, as you can see. Four, like you said, four people in double figures. So sharing the ball, it's a great team offense. And coach Ryan Rooms in the first two games. It seems like the second half you've made a more concerted effort to get it to him in the post, and he succeeded <coughs> more in the second half. But what have you seen from him developing? throughout each of the first two games, and what can he do for this team? If Ryan's gotten the ball more in the second half, I'd give our players credit. They've done a good job of getting him the ball. Uh, he's also done a very good job. He did a good job today of getting it off the glass. So that's what we need from him. He did a terrific job. Even when we missed some shots, uh, he gave a second opportunity. So really liked his effort tonight. Uh, all of our guys are going to improve uh, by light years. However, um, we're, we're getting a little bit better. Coach, does your system, you know, the, the style of controlled chaos really tailor itself to a guy like John Severe when he's at his best who, I mean, looks to have when he's playing at full energy, just a guy who wants to be running up and down the court and getting those steals and the flushes at the other end? I think that's a good point, just meaning, you know, any guy that has speed and quickness and athleticism like Mandel or like John Severe, um, they want to take advantage of that speed and quickness and athleticism. And so our defensive system, it's not built on being strong. It's not a power system. Instead, it's built on being quick and anticipating. And um, so you're right. When guys are athletic and playing at their best, then they are great fits for our defense. Christian doesn't really seem to have as much quickness as guys like Mandel and John, but he still looks really comfortable out there. What have you liked about the way he played tonight and was able to find his own way to be successful in the offense? Christian anticipates very well. So there are guys that maybe don't move as quickly as others, but they have great anticipatory skills. He's one of those guys. And then the other thing is Christian is a workhorse. He plays so hard. So when you play with great effort, it doesn't matter how fast you are, how athletic, the effort makes up for so much.
Coach, number one, how great was it to have the fans, the students body come out and really cheer on the team? And how good was it to have that home cooking, so to speak? Yeah, so I'm going to say one thing, and I'm never going to say it again during my time here at Fordham. Um, I'm incredibly disappointed with this crowd tonight. So to have a game in New York City, our opening game of the season, and only have 2,100 people here um, is incredibly disappointing. So I won't say that again, but I can't believe that we didn't have 3,000 people in here. And all I'm saying with that is, if there are Fordham people around this city that want this program to be good, there's nowhere else they should be other than this gym. And if we're going to have a home court advantage, we need more people acting like those students that were in here tonight. I really thought the students that were in here were really great. Their energy was terrific. But this place only seats 3,000. We came and fill it on the opening night. That, that's not a good sign. And uh, what can you say about being here four years, about when the students do come out and when you're going toward that basket in the first half and guys are making plays like that? You know, do you guys really feel that on the bench and on the court when you know, the students are able to come out and give you that kind of look? Yeah, most definitely. It brings a lot of energy to the crowd. Uh, it hasn't been where it needs to be, like Coach said, since I've been here. But certain games, when we're playing like a high-caliber team, they definitely show up then, but when it's like a regular team, they don't show up as much. It's, it's difficult, but as a player, we can't really focus on that. We still got to go out and perform anyways. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.